Kitties. This is Twin A. I had to come back and add some more ear paint. I'm not entirely sure I'm satisfied with this look, but it's okay for the moment, and we'll move on. If I decide it needs some more tweaking, I'll come back after, you know, I paint the face and stuff, see how it matches up. Kind of hard to tell when the face is blank. So, um, uh, you know, the same on Twin B. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see if we can get them to lay down. And we can get a comparison shot. Mm -hmm. Let's see. I try to make this a little more pinky and this more brownie. Because this is a girly. And she's a calico. So, anyway. We're going to work on the noses, the nose, and the paw pads, the paw pads. Now, I want to show you, I got a card for Easter. I meant to show it yesterday, but uh, I don't know what happened. <laughs> I won't lie, I don't know what happened. I set it aside and then forgot to open it. I was busy painting. And then I, I realized that when I, I sat down to paint today, I was like, oh, there's, there's that car. I need to open it yesterday. Oh. Oh, anyway, it says, Happy Easter. And it's a beautiful green, like a, a lime green. And it's got some flowers. On here, there's a, a yellow one, and a beautiful cornflower blue, and like a pink, and a, and like a white daisy with the yellow center. And there's a purple one, there's a purple Easter egg, and the lettering's done in white. And there's a daisy, there's a pink and darker pink rose, a purple and a daisy, a pink, purple, and it's got a yellow egg with white polka dots. And it looks like a blue tie-dyed egg with blue and darker blue. And then it's got a, yeah, pink and light pink with white polka dots in the center. And then it says, hope your day is filled with smiles, laughter, and special moments to remember. Always. Uh, Kitty Reborn. So this came from Val. Which, uh, that, that's her cat right here. Anyways, let's... Let's get into painting here, shall we? So I'm gonna set the card aside. And I'm gonna get over here and decide what I want to paint here. Uh, if I want to paint the, the noses first or uh, the paw pads, so I gotta go get my laptop so I can look at the inspiration photos for for the, the noses at least. So, uh, you know basically the same concept <laughs> like, oh. we'll mix up some red here with uh, probably some I know, just looking for the white pick up every one of them for if I'm white that white yeah that's white red and white to make a you know probably add in a little bit of I don't know about that color maybe that color they give a, and then we got to have some, that's not black, no, that's not black, that's blue. What is that one? Oh, there, there's black. Get a little black. Oh, I think, uh, I think a Reaper has a little bit black on his nose. Yeah, I was going to paint one of these paw pads, I think it's the back one, you know has like some black, a black polka dot on her paw pad. I was going to use her to uh, go by the paw pads. But, you know, okay. I think these are the colors we're going to go with. And, uh, of course, that's not, uh, what is it, amber. No, I don't think I need that. Of course, we're going to mix it in with the, the Genesis heat set that it made. And, uh, let's get the paint pad out. All right. So, uh, I probably won't show you 
me painting because I can't paint and hold the camera at the same time. And I broke my little stand, so you know, there's that. So, you know, we'll be back. Okay, so there's Mr. Grimm, and I'm working on Reaper's paw pads. So, this foot is the one right there in the bottom. Okay. And this foot is the uh, that one right there. So, uh, that, that's how that's going. I need to find a picture of his front paws. Okay, I, that little black piece right there. See in between his toes? I had that right there too. Okay. Now we need to find the front feet. Okay, it looks like the two middle paw pads are pink and the two on the outer sides are black and paw, big paw pads black. Okay, so I never did find a good picture of the left hand outside the little, little pinky finger. So I'm just going to assume based on the other, the other paw pads that the big paw pad is black. That's the, the all, all the other ones are. All the other three. And I just uh, went ahead and painted the front paws the same. You know, to the black on the outside the inside I mean the outsides and the pinky on the insides so uh, I gotta stand up and uh, here, here's a here's his nose all done wait a minute I gotta go back and show you the picture nose so there's the nose on, on Grimm, and that's the nose on Reaper. That's as close as I can get that. Oh, yeah, it's, it's all right, right? And uh, I'll come back here. We got, we got, uh, the, the other one, Twin A. Where's that picture? It keeps, like, shrinking it. And we got Tomboy here, and there's Tomboy's nose. Like, like the picture. Alright, I need to clean up this side of the nose just a tad. Then I'm gonna come back and uh, paint her paw pads. I gotta stretch my back. Alright, there we go. Okay, people, I found a partial left handed view of a. Uh, Grim's left hand there, and if you notice that the the pinky is black and the paw bed is, is also black, so so I just guessed at the other three. All right, so I'm back over here to paint little Miss Tomboy's paw pads. And I found inspiration paw pads considering the picture I was using. Obviously, you can't see the bottom of the paws. See, this is the inspiration shot. And uh, she's standing there and you can't see the bottom of her paw pads. And, uh, maybe you can make out a little bit on that one. She's got like light pink and maybe, maybe a touch of black. Or gray in her case. Okay. So I thought I would go with these paw pads. You know, the, the, I like the blending of the color. It makes it so pretty. Uh, see. Okay. So. Uh, this little Mrs. Paul will probably uh, we'll get her going, right? And we break and we'll be right back. Y'all you cool cats and kittens. I have learned that, that it's called a, a marble look. A marble look. So uh where I've applied the marble look, uh I did take this back paw pad off my um, cat in 
she's only got the one black spot on the one paw pad but the rest of them I gave it the marble look so that's the back I think it's so cute anyway I'm going to set them over there and this is the front hand see I gave them the marble look too oh ain't that pretty I'm going to have to go back and uh, do some touch ups when it dries I don't know how it's going to look it might be turn out like the ears it looks good when it's wet and it's meh when it's dry so you need to do a, another coat and touch it up that there's her, her hands and there's her nose right, what do you think There, there she is. There's twin A and and twin B here. Alright. Oh, oh. I'm gonna touch up her nose just a bit. I'm not quite happy how it looks. So we're gonna go back and touch up her nose. Let them uh dry, then we'll put them in the oven and heat set them. I think I'm gonna maybe call it a day. Depends on how it looks. I might have to come back and touch up the paw pads. Just have to see after it, after it uh, heat sets. If I, I like it or not. If I don't like it, I will come back and put another coat. Okay. Uh, little kitten, twin A and twin B. All right, I'm gonna touch up this one's nose. I gotta fix something. I just ain't happy with how it looks. I think it looks like it needs a little, uh, a little lighter pink on the top. I got a little lighter pink at the top. Okay, let's come. Let's do that. Maybe it's just hanging with the fixture, but uh, it bothers me. So we'll come back. We'll fix that. We'll be back. Okay, so I'm finally satisfied. I added just a teeny tiny touch of bubblegum paint to the top. It's got a darker pink on the bottom. She's so big. She's gonna be so pretty, you right, Kitty? I'll add a little bit of fudge of the Mars black to the inside of the ears, just a tad. Mm -hmm, uh -huh. right, I think I might need to come back and get the touch out again. I'll, I'll, do, I'll probably do that when I wear a picture. <laughs> when I paint the actual black. I'll go back and tweak the whole thing when the whole thing's finished. Oh, but right now we're working on noses and paw pads. So, so we're going to set this over here in her circle. <laughs> her circle. Put her in her circle. And let her dry. And he's in his circle. And he's drying. I can already tell his, his black's going to need another touch up. It looks streaky. So, uh,. Like I said, this is probably not going to be the last coat on the paw pads. Because the black looks a little streaky. Probably needs to be, uh, maybe, maybe two, three. <laughs> maybe two more coats. Maybe three coats. So, maybe two more coats. I'll have to see after I bake it and come back for the second coat. Who knows? Who knows? Alright. Hello, Mr. Twin B. Reaper. So... That's his nose. His nose looks awesome, don't it? I'm really happy with how his nose has turned out. And uh, his paw pads, like I said, need more paint. See how they're not even? How the paint's not really even? I mean, on the black, the gray looks pretty good. I'm just not happy with the black. Let's see. Look at his. His hands. See that black just ain't cutting it for me. I just ain't happy with that. And then there's a twin A. Uh, tomboy. Tomboy's middle nose looks so cute, hey. Reminds me of Mousy. She got a little ridded nose. Anyways, look at Tomboy's paw pads. Again, the well, this ain't too bad considering it's like a, a marbled effect, but it still needs some work. I need to add some more black and some uh, 
some more that red. It's like, see anything? Is it? I mean, I'm not happy with how it looks. So, I'll um, put another coat on and let that dry and bake it again. The black, I'll put the black. I mean, the other looks fine. The black, just not ha I'm just not happy with how the black looks. So, uh, alright, kids. So, we'll, we'll uh, come back after I put that paint on and uh, let it dry and then heat set it and I'll come back and do an update. Alright people, we're back. Let's look. Oh look. It looks so much better, don't it? This is Reaper over here. This is Reaper's paw print or paw pads. Oh yeah, little Reaper. There's little hands. hands. Now let's look at a uh, uh, tomboy, tomboy's got a uh, marbled paw. Oh, that looks so beautiful. Marbled paw pads. Oh gosh, I love that one. It gives it like a cow effect. I mean, it's called marbled. Anyway, look at that. Oh, that's so pretty. And then that one, and um, the, the, the difference between the marbled and the uh, and the other. So, oh, I just love that marble look. It's so pretty, and uh, you can also see the difference in color. See, this is a dark. Dark uh, charcoal gray and like a, a darker, um, what's a uh, paint, paint color, like a rusty red, and then this one's a like a lighter gray and like a subtler uh, pink. Can't tell the, the big difference on the pink as much as you can the uh, the, the gray. Anyway, that's a reaper. Uh -huh. the, the reaper and a tomboy. So uh, I've run the uh, the new wave oven three times today. So they've been baked three more times. And tomorrow I have stuff I need to do from uh, one o'clock to five o'clock. I like doing a, a webinar. So I'm going to be busy. And then uh, Wednesday, I don't plan on painting that day either. I need to uh, catch up on some housework again and uh, rest. And then uh, Thursday, oh, uh, Tristan, a.k.a. Patrick. I mean, his name is Tristan, but he likes to be called Patrick. Anyway, Patrick's about to go to the dentist on Thursday to get some uh, cavities filled. And, you know, that's going to take some time, eat up some time. And then uh, this the stress of having to uh, assist him at the dentist office because, you know, he's autistic and has strong gag reflex. And he doesn't like uh, things in his mouth. That's why he has the cavity. You know, he's not good at his teeth brushing skills. <laughs> Let me say that louder for the the kid in the background. He's not good at his teeth brushing skills. That's why he's got a big hump and cavity. So, uh, okay. So he probably should work on brushing his teeth a little better. Anyway, time I get done with helping him at the dentist's office and driving over and, and helping him and driving back, I think I'll probably be exhausted. I mean, I'm not a spring chicken anymore, people. I'm already 50. I'm a tired old lady. So, uh, we'll be back probably Friday or Saturday. I can't even commit to a day. 
either Friday or Saturday I'll be back to uh, paint some more on these lovely little kittens. I'm not quite sure what we're going where we're going to go with it next. I gotta think about it. I don't know. I'm not even sure where I'm taking the kit next. I think I'll go back and work on their faces. Uh, uh, work on the white around their faces. And the Grim has a white, a white muzzle, a little bit of white up, up the front of his face here. And uh, uh, Tom Tomboy does too. Anyway. Then we're gonna come back and we're gonna use uh we're gonna use this here the medium uh, thin and medium and I pick every one of them up again this fun white and the white that's what we're gonna work on we'll probably put a couple coats and you know bake in between so it's probably next time I paint that be the only thing I work on is their little muzzles the muzzles. The muzzles, the, the the chin area, down into the neck. So that's what we'll be doing next. Okay. Uh, this is Carly with Carly's room with reborn cats and nonsense. Be sure to come back to see how my lovely cat project's going. These are the Spanx kittens, by the way. Anyway, bye-bye.